everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am testing out a new fragrance, a man fragrance, called um, Aqua de, G de Gio. And it is a Gior Giorgio Armani dupe. Um, it's a very long description, but basically sexy, fresh, aquatic aroma with bergamot, neroli, and tangerine. Flowing into mid-notes of rosemary, jasmine, and persimmon, all sitting on a woodsy base note of essential oil of patchouli. And it does smell very good. I can't believe I haven't bought this before. But it is, um, <clears throat> I don't think it discolors or anything. I, did, I forgot to look at that. It does not discolor. And there's a tiny, tiny amount of vanillin in it, but not much. And it's supposed to be very strong in, cur in cured soap, no ricing or anything. So um, I'm just going to do, let's see, satin gray pillowcase, and I think I'm going to, instead of doing white as a base, I'm going to do this as a base, and then I'm going to do some soap berry blue. I feel like I do blue a lot for guys' soap, but it just seems to go well with other colors, and then I'm going to do some white, and probably a spoon swirl or something, nothing too fancy, obviously no piping, um, but I thought I'd video it because it is a new scent that I haven't made before.
the soap on and just kind of texture it a little bit. go ahead and cut this aqua de geo if I'm saying it right and I'm loving the gray color I'm glad I made it a little bit lighter I think that was goes nice with the blue oh so pretty I love that swirl looks manly and the fragrance is still nice and strong um, it's a very clean man scent I'm cutting these bars just a little bit smaller just because they're higher For those of you that have asked about the ducks, the ducks are great. Um, they still come as soon as they hear us open the back door. Um, you hear them start talking and quacking and they run to the patio. And they have brought many friends with them. It used to just be three of them. And now there's a lot of them. And there's two in particular that are my favorite. One is Phil. Um, he will come up and eat out of our hand. He's the cutest thing. He'll grab it. He used to grab it real quick and be like he was scared. Now he's a lot more gentle and you can tell he feels more comfortable. He grabs it and keeps it in his mouth and waddles down to the water to, and it's a little, kind of a little distance, down to the water to uh, get it wet before he eats it. And he's the only one that does that. And then I'll come back for more. And when he's, when we give it to him, he's got to make it through the crowd of ducks to get to the water. So we always are throwing something for the other ducks so they, you know, let him get through. It's kind of funny. And I'm not sure which, which one is Sam anymore because... Um, he never did anything, you know, for me to recognize him, I guess. And, but there is this other one that, I'm just going to kind of, 
Um, there is another one that he's got like a kind of a dirtier beak and he's got a real skinny neck and he will catch him in the air when you throw him. He's the only one that does that and he, he caught 12 in a row the other day. So that's what's going on with the ducks. They're great and the swans are still here and everybody's good it's for those of you that were asking. And thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.